finally, finally I can hear that there is hope. Is this me? Is this real? Is this really happening? Oh, I am free. How you gave yourself for me. It wasn't easy. Yes, I know it wasn't all what you said. Father, please take this cup. Until something happens that shakes us, we forget that this life I live is not, not mine. He did it anyway. Yes, he, did. Oh. he could have decided to let me go. He could have decided to let me go. But he saved me anyway. Yes, Save me anyway. uh, you know one thing one thing the reason why this song means a lot to me is that it's easy for us to think that Jesus was yeah he was the son of God but he was also human I know uh, there was a lot of emotions that that would have been going on in his mind mm. and that probably he couldn't even been able to tell anybody because mm. they would be like he's the son of, of God mm -hmm. you know but he did it it would have been really hard I mean, like, they t tell you that this is crucifixion. You are dying to save people that you do not know. People, people that you've never ever met. Do, people who do not love you. And yeah. before we came into the scene, he knew we were coming. Yes. And he hung there. He said, Mirabel will pass through. But I want her to pass through saved. Yes. He knew Big Dan will pass through. But he wanted me to come through safe. And so he laid down his life. Even when he had, he had, he could 
Jesus could have just walked away. Jesus could have just come down from the cross and walked away. But he did it anyway. He did it anyway. He did it anyway. Oh, he did it anyway. For my life, for my life. And daily, 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 daily we 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 fall, we fail, we we make mistakes. And the normal human tendency is to break down, is to condemn yourself. But every punishment that would have been given to us he took it on himself oh, yes, he and he laid down his life oh, yes, he, did. he did it anyway he did it anyway, oh. he did it anyway. Mistakes, oh, yeah. you still love me so. He loved me anyway. How could you love a man like me? He saved me anyway. Such an amazing guy. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we need to, we need to shut it down here. We need to shut it. Can't go for that. No, no, no. If I, if I, if I, if, 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 if we, if, if we had the time. Oh my God, if we had the time. Um, Mirabel, it's been awesome having you here. Christ. We are, we are favored. We are honored. Have been Mirabel, the Mirabel, the Mirabel. It's been awesome. Yeah. Just help me, help me with some strings. It's been awesome having you here. It's a pleasure being here. Um. Um. Uh, by the way, let me let me farms now. Me and Mirabel, we're working before. We've worked before, in case, so that you have more respect for me. <laughs> yes. Um. Um. <laughs> um. Uh, uh, we met in school. At least that's the first time we yeah. met. We, we worked together in school before coming out. So, um, we, I, I, I want to ask, music now, because I know you're going professionally. Was that the plan? No, absolutely not. I studied business administration, music, music, let's say music was something that I always loved to do right from the time I was born. And you were good at it? Yeah, I think I, it's actually a family okay, thing, you know. Okay. When I was growing up, I loved Coke so much, and then they were sharing, but they didn't want to give me for some reason. And then I wanted to bribe my mom, say, um, um, Hallelujah, Coke, Hallelujah. I'm telling you. I'm serious. <laughs> so I think from you then, my mom, <laughs> yes, until they gave it to me. You know, so music has always been in the background somehow. Okay. Then I entered Axios, I entered wow. HUKC Choir, you know, wow. so it has always been there. Wow. So. Yeah, I think at some point in my life when I entered the Project Fame house, mm. I think it was when I was evicted. In fact, the night of my eviction, I was in my hotel room. And then, I don't know, somehow it just, it was like a clarity mm. that says, this is what you are meant to do. Mm. And then it was just mind-blowing. I think I'll call it, you know, an epiphany. It was just mm. one time in my life where, you know, I had this rev clear revelation that said, this is your calling. And so, wow. That trade-off. That trade of business admin, rate yourself over 10. How good were you as a student? Ah, I was good. You were good. Yes. You were good. I know I'm asking this because <laughs> I, I had this inkling that time when you, I, was, I was like the MD over HOKC. And um, we, 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 I had this idea that you were in the first class. Nah, but I was close. You were close. Yes. And because we, we used to, we, we, we usually spent a lot of time, a lot of time in in church. We spent a lot of time in church. 
And I used to ask myself, ah, these guys, we spent too much time in church. Are we, it's going to affect our studies, you know? And we, we somehow prevailed. We somehow prevailed. My question is this. Did it cost you moving from the academia, from the intellectual to the musical? Did it cost you? What did it, what did it take you to make that? Because I know that I, this is Africa. You don't just make such decisions. Did it cost you? To be honest, I would say no. Mm. You know, somehow, okay, first of all, my mom is into this fashion business. Yeah. I've been in the fashion line for a while, but, you know, I always felt like I wanted to do this white collar job, work mm. in a bank. And then after that epiphany, you know, and I decided it was music I wanted to do. But I, I, I also liked business in a mm. way. I mean, I won't say I'm business mind oriented in the sense that I know how to conduct businesses mm. properly. But, you know, I've always had the sense of wanting to organize people together, mm -hmm. you know, human resource. And then so I decided to work with my mom. So I won't say it, anything has been lost, but I would say this, that my moment in school you know the fact that i put god and i put ministry which was obviously what i liked to do i put it first even when it was difficult to study even when i i barely had time it was somehow always easy to be honest mm. i would say i didn't even read like like I should have read, probably I would have gotten a first class, but then I'm not worried about any of that because I know that the price that I paid, the sacrifice, you know, going from one rehearsal practice to another mm. one, it paid and it's still paying off till today because, you know, I can look back and say these were the things that I learned and when it talks about commitment to the service of God, mm. being committed, you know, so if you can learn how to balance whatever it is that you're doing, your schoolwork with your ministry or be it your um, profession with your ministry, then you know that there's a huge level of commitment. You know, one can't be lost and the other, so it has to be side by side. So, wow. yeah. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. I, I, I realize that a lot of us musicians have um, this, we all, we all have this dark side. The, the Instagram you see, oh, the second you see, the, the Facebook yes, I you have, see. Definitely. The, Twitter. the truth of the matter is social media is I don't know if I mean, it's something time. else. I'm you, you see a thousand and one things there and you're like, wow, is there still hope in this world? Mm. But then um, apart from that, there's, there's also the craziness of social media where where if you're doing something, be it successful, mm -hmm. you know, it's almost like, like you are um, forced like there's this pressure, indirect pressure to want to put it out there, you know, mm -hmm. see people that I'm succeeding. Mm. And then people who are not necessarily succeeding like you, should I, I would say indirectly because, you know, success can be defined in different ways. Mm -hmm. So someone who looks at you and sees your car and sees that big house and sees the flashy lifestyle that you're living in and they're like, wow, I'm so down, you know, I'm living a horrible life. That has happened, to be honest with you. I've seen other artists, you know, in my, who I know that I grew up with sort of, doing things out there, going for shows and things mm. like that. And it's very easy to wake up and be like, man, what am I doing <laughs> this morning? What, in fact, today, what am I going to do? I'll be looking at myself, you know. But I think what's important is take everything one step at a time. Take things one day at a time. God promises you tomorrow, but the truth is that you do not know what that tomorrow is. You don't know where that tomorrow is going to come. But you have to take each day and each chance. Be grateful for it and do the best that you can at each step. No. I think that's what has actually helped me, to yeah. be honest. And there's, there's this thing this guy says, Mark Reynolds. He says, whatever you do, just be happy. Just, just be happy while you're doing it. Whatever you're doing, just be happy. I mean, it could be small, it could be big. God blesses every word. And who says what's small or big? Ex exactly. Who, who's, who's the Aztec? Yeah. What is the Aztec? You understand? Who put it? Is it the Constitution? <laughs> I mean, how do we get to... We, we, we just have to be happy. So, so, so even when it's small, you're joyful. When it's big, you're joyful. As far as you're blessing lives, come on. When somebody calls you up and says, Are you Mirabel? Please, I, I want to thank you for what you, your song, this, that thing, yeah. that thing goes to the, as in, it, that is what it gets us going. Glory to God. Um, it's been awesome having you here. Likewise. It's been, it's been awesome pleasure being having you here on Unscripted. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> it's been awesome. Please, guys. Um, Follow Mirabella. I'm um, your 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 handle. Yeah, Mirabella La is simple. Mirabella La, <laughs> but spelled M I R A B E W L A L A H. Wow. Yes. Wow. I'm on, all, on, on all um, social media. Platforms. On all social media platforms. Yes. 
This has been unscripted with the project sort. It's been awesome. It's been amazing with Mirabel. Um, um, follow us, follow us on Twitter, on, fa on Facebook, on Instagram. Subscribe to this video. Click on the subscribe button and, and follow us. Share your testimonies with us. Testimonies at theprojectsort.com. It's been awesome. God bless you till we see, till we minister to you next time. Stay in the grace and the will of God. God bless you.